Welcome back to the Castos YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about podcast subscribe buttons, getting them onto your WordPress website, changing the colors, because we had a pretty big response from my last video of crafting the perfect podcast blog post. You all saw my podcast buttons on the top of the page, and you said, how do we change those colors? How do we do that? So I'm going to give you the two ways that we approach it here at Castos, and how we've approached it in the past, and what we're doing now with the page that you saw in the other video, and how you do it with Elementor, which is another solution that we have. The sort of uh, looking into the crystal ball, sort of predicting the future, is that we will have this same functionality inside of Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin when we release this block for Gutenberg, which should come fairly soon. We're getting ready for full site editing in WordPress. Um, so you, the things that we do with Elementor with podcast landing pages, you know, you'll come close to that with full site editing or so we hope. That way you can have one block and it just shows up on all your podcast pages. Okay. The plugin that we used in the last video that I sh showed you about the blog post for podcasts is a plugin called Podcast Subscribe Buttons. It's totally free. You can search for it in WordPress. You can see it right here. It's made by a company called Second Line Themes. We've had partnerships with them in the past. They make themes for podcasters. So you install that plugin. It is free and it allows you to make those subscribe buttons. So let's take a look at what that looks like. I've already installed it and activated it. If we go to Tools, Podcast Subscribe Buttons, click on Add New. We have to name um, our short code here, so we'll call this uh, Matt's podcast. And you'll see right below it, there's a short code. This short code is what you'll use to place on any WordPress uh, page or post in your website. In fact, you could even use this with Elementor if you wanted to uh, have the different options that they provide here uh, with, with this particular plugin. So if you want to be able to change the background color, the text color, and do all that stuff from one place, you can do that with this plugin. You can't change the button colors of Elementor without writing something called some CSS. It's a little bit of a coding language, which I'll show in the second half of this video. Okay, Matt's podcast. Button text, you can kind of customize some of this stuff. I'm gonna say follow instead of subscribe. There are four different button types of what they look like. I'm just gonna show the one that we use most, which is the inline buttons, buttons side by side. And then the button style, I'll say rounded. And then this is where you can change that background color. This is where a lot of folks had some questions. So if I just click on the background color, I'm going to click red. Text color can stay white. Hover background color, I'm going to say this can be white and then change the hover text. Basically, when you put your mouse over it, uh, it'll change the background to white and the, and the text to black. We'll see what these buttons look like in a minute. Now, once we've designed our buttons, we can go down and customize which um, buttons we want to appear. So I'm just going to show you the, the, the three top ones that most people use. So Apple Podcasts, then you type in the link to your Apple Podcast, like whatever the subscribe link is. I'm just going to make one up for right now because it'd be too time consuming to go and grab all of mine. We're going to add Google Podcasts. You can see there is a ton of options to choose from, which is great if you're on all of these different places. And then Spotify, the big three. Okay, so once I have those set up, Apple, Google, Spotify, I'm going to hit publish. And now we'll take a look at what this looks like. Copy the short code, bring this to a page, add new, call this subscribe buttons, and then drop in the short code, publish, and view the page. And there are our subscribe buttons. You can see when I hover over it, it's the same styling that I did. It's got the white background with the with the black text and very easy, very, very straightforward. Now with Elementor, I'm going to edit with Elementor. We have a uh, really easy to use subscribe button widget for Elementor. Uh, the difference is it doesn't have all of these options that the second line uh, plugin has, which I just mentioned. So if I pull up Elementor, I have Seriously Simple Podcasting installed. I will search for subscribe buttons. You'll see this right on the left hand side. We'll drag that in. I'm just going to place it right here. And the buttons look very similar. And we're actually pulling the links from your Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin settings. So if you've already filled out the Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin subscribe links to show up in your player, they're going to show up here for the buttons. So that does make life a little bit easier for you. You don't have to create, you know, a whole new setup for your plugins or for your buttons, I should say. But the problem is 
is we don't have any controls for the color scheme, uh, but you can control it with a little bit of CSS, like I mentioned. So if we click on the widget and we go to advanced, we come down to custom CSS. Now remember, you have to have some familiar familiarity with <laughs> CSS and HTML to really approach this. But what you'll type in is SSP, subscribe, buttons, the letter A, open up our CSS, and now you can do background color. And you can either write in plain text uh, to, uh, to change those. Uh, did I spell that wrong? SSP, subscribe. Yes, I forget the T. <laughs> SSP, subscribe buttons, there it is. And now it matches up closer to that other red before. Or you can use uh, the hex code, uh, which you can look up and add in uh, different combinations uh, of, of numbers to create a color. And that's how you would approach it with CSS. That is going to be inside of your Elementor template under custom CSS, and that'll allow you to adjust the buttons. I'll have the little snippet of this code um, in the description below if that's what you're looking for. But either way, you can use these to create these um, subscribe buttons on your WordPress website or your Elementor template, whatever you're using. Like I said, we're going to have these buttons in Seriously Simple Podcast in Gutenberg form coming up hopefully fairly soon so that we're ready for full site editing. Any questions? Leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more.